Now, leaders from an organization accused of advocating for the reinforcement I beg your pardon, of retrogressive cultural practices such as female genital mutilation have refuted the claim, saying that they are only promoting the way of the Agikuyu people. The group known as Guatadai says the allegations are misinformed. NTV Zainab Ismail reports on the developments. The Catholic Church has raised concern about the activities of the group, labeling it a cult. Leaders of the group are fighting back. With all due respect, I will not say anything to the Cardinal. What I will say is that the statement from the Church was a good statement because the Church uh, may feel threatened and uh, so it is upon him to do that, whatever he did. But there's a lot of misinformation, and I know the reason is this. The reason is because some other people have seen, like their past, their business is being interfered with. Here, you never pay for anything. The association has been accused of promoting female genital mutilation and preaching against Christianity among the Gikuyu community, catching the attention of the church and local leaders. Guatandai is not a religion. This is a cultural group which is clearly recognized in the Constitution of Kenya 2010. We are not in conflict. We just come here to express our culture and we do not indoctrinate anybody. We do not promote FGM. But when you look at our community, there is no happiness, there is no love, there is no empathy or sympathy. It's all why. What is the reason? On his Twitter handle, Reverend Timothy Njoya wants police to take action against what he termed as retrogressive Kikuyu customs, ostensibly to keep the kingdom, Uthamaki, within the Kikuyu family. Cardinal Njoya asked the faithful to avoid the danger of mixing faith with some cultural beliefs which are not in line with Christian teachings. The group on its part says it will continue to hold its meetings every Sunday. Zainab Ismail, NTV.